Hey folks, this is ADAC47 and uh, I just want to show all you aviation buffs and, and people who like to search for photography on the internet. Just a little trick that a friend showed me the other day uh, using Google search. Uh, it allows you to search for photos in a particular category and to limit the uh, minimum size you want to have displayed. A lot of time you come up with hits and the photos are very tiny. So. Anyway, you just go to your browser. I'm using Safari here. And, uh, I'm a very slow typer, sorry. And go to Google. Uh, we want to be sure and select the Images options because we want to search for images and restrict it to that. And then you type in uh, a search uh, phrase. And I'm going to click Corsair. Uh, go ahead and add F for you. So you can catch that as well, and hit return. And boom, you get a bunch of uh, hits on the internet where images of the Corsair are displayed. And you can just start clicking on them to look at them. Uh, I have it set up so well, it actually shows you when you put your cursor here, the pixel size. Uh, but uh, we want to modify this search a little bit uh, so that it just displays images that are large enough, say, to please us if it's filling our screen. We don't want any smaller images than that. Uh, so let me show you how to do that. You go up here to this uh, set of options and you click search tools and uh, here you have an option under it for size. And here we're going to do, you can, you know, you search for large, medium uh, sizes or icon sizes or you can specify a range, uh, I mean a minimum value, sorry, not and I'm going to do uh, 4 megapixels here, that's 2272 by 1704 or other uh, products if you multiply the pixels that come out to be 4 megapixels or more. That's going to be my minimum requirement because that will fill my screen. Some of you can get by fine with 2 MP. I wouldn't waste time on anything less than that. So let's go with 4 megapixels. Uh, and now we see a different palette of photos because we're restricting them to be this large. Uh, and I'd like to have these display the sizes for me, so let me see if I can figure out how to do that. If we go under More Tools here, we can say Show Sizes, and now our sizes are all displayed. And we see they vary, and, but that just allows you, without having to actually put the cursor over the image, to see the pixel dimensions for it. And then if you want to... Um, uh, look at a picture, picture, you just click on it, um, but I find that I want to open it up in a new tab, and on, the, on Safari you can hold the command e key down and click on an image, and it opens up a new window. And the reason I'm doing this, well I'll explain in a second why I'm doing it. So we get uh, the image, again it's not the full size, and we can either go to the web page by clicking visit page, or we can go directly to the image. Sometimes this won't display because uh, websites catch you're trying that your browser is trying to do this and they make you go through through the web page so you can just go back and click on visit web page but if you're in a hurry and don't want to go to the web page and have to click some more to find the picture just click on view image and that's a really beautiful picture uh, and we can go ahead and see it in full size and that is simply gorgeous so I'm going to keep this one and so uh, all I have to do is uh, drag it to my desktop which I'm going to do, but you're not going to be able to see it because I'm only recording the area uh, of Safari. But in, uh, it just appeared on my desktop, a little icon showing the image. So we just save that file. And so we're done, and we can close this window. Okay, And we go back to where we were, and we can continue. Now, the reason I don't just click on this, notice that we're up here it says larger than 4 megapixels. Um, and uh, we've got the pixel showing. And that's important to me. So now we go to another one. Let's just pick this one at random. And uh, I'm going to view the image here without having opened this up in a separate page. So I just clicked on it instead of doing command click. And now I can say view image. And I get the image. And uh, I might or might not want to keep that. Uh, but if we now go back, and we can close this window here. 
When I go back, I find that sometimes uh, it has reset so that I no longer have the larger than 4 MP. It's like when we first came in and I get a bunch of thumbnails of the different Corsairs. Uh, but it doesn't have this size restriction, so I have to reset it. And it also may do away with not showing the pixels by the, uh, that I selected earlier. So it loses that in some cases. So I now always open a separate window and it never does that to me. If you don't have that problem, then just click away on whatever you want. And uh, you can and notice it gives you related images. That's very useful too. So if you want images like the one you've got, you can get it. And you can go directly and view the uh, image or we can go back and let's visit the website this time. Yeah, it's a Wikipedia page. And so it's one of the images in here. So if you really want information on the airplane, you can go and to the website and see what uh, the person that put it up is saying about it. So that's a useful feature. Anyway, so that, that's some tricks for uh, uh, finding wallpaper size images of your favorite aviation uh, pictures. Uh, and you can search for the P-38 or the uh, BF-109, uh, anything. And uh, you can search for nature pictures or sunsets, anything to your heart's delight. I store them all in different folders in my screensaver master folder that I select for doing slideshows when I'm uh, going into screen, sh uh, share, screen showing mode on my desktop computer. So anyway, give that a shot. If you have any uh, problems, then leave a note uh, or a comment uh, on this video, and uh, I'll see if I can figure it out for you. That's it. Over and out. This is ADAC 47.